Hello everyone, my name is Nilzor and welcome to my vault. Today on Fallout New Vegas 101, we are going to talk about one of your companions, Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Rose of Sharon Cassidy, shortened to Cass, was born in 2244 within the NCR, which makes her 37 years old when you first meet her. Her father was John Cassidy, a former adventurer and companion of the Chosen One in Fallout 2. He abandoned her and her tribal mother at a very young age, heading east for unknown reasons, never to be heard from again. Her mother died when she was a teenager, which, according to Cass, was because she wanted to die after she made sure that she was old enough to take care of herself. She inherited from her father a name, a slightly rose pendant, his shooting skills, a heart condition, and some alcoholic tendencies, essentially when it comes to whiskey. Cass created her own caravan company, the Cass City Caravans, after she started doing career-like jobs inside the NCR. Today, she is about to put an end to her business after a series of misfortune as well as being unable to withstand the current caravan's war over Nevada. After her last caravan was recently attacked and burned to ash, she is now drowning her sorrows at the Mojave outpost. When you look at Cass, you will notice her red hair as well as a typical cowgirl outlook with her cowboy hat, brown jacket, pink white plaid shirt and whole jeans. Adding to that, she also has some of the typical activities of a cowgirl such as dealing with cattle, being on the road often with her caravans and dealing with deliveries as well as being proficient with a rifle. When you talk to her, you quickly realize that she is very outspoken and a tad vulgar at times. She is also very open about a lot of things and will sleep with anybody as long as she has enough alcohol in her system. This contrasts with her very strong sense of morals, putting the value of personal freedom and honesty, much like the romanticized version of the cowboy myths, above anything else. Although she is an NCR citizen and patriot, she is able to see that there are a lot of problems within the Republic, mainly what has become an uncontrollable, greedy expansion of its territories to the detriment of its population, the safety of its roads, as well as its soldiers. To cope between how she thinks things should be and how they are, Cass has developed into being a mostly functional alcoholic, a tendency inherited from her father, which is a bit her discontent with the situation. On a more meta level, Cass is a companion whose place in the story is to put a focus on moral issues which gameplay-wise is translated into being the only companion who reacts to your karma. Her strong sense of idealism, when confronted to reality, led her to become an upset idealist, giving her a good sense of sarcasm as well as having a coping mechanism through alcohol. She is a strong supporter of the NCR but is desperate of its greediness and self-destruction that she is perceiving. In contrast, she is having a hard time comparing it to the Legion territories where on the other hand, its people and caravans are far more safer than in the West. To be able to conclude that a fascist dictatorship can make its territories safer than in what should be a democratic republic is hard on her. The name Rose of Sharon is coming for a book talking about the journey of a poor family of farmers during the Great Depression in the 1930s. In it, the daughter is depicted as a childish and dreamy teenage girl who develops, as the novel progresses, to become a mature woman. She symbolizes regrowth when she helps a starving stranger. We can draw a parallel between the two with how Cass is getting back on her feet by helping the NCR trying to become more of how her idealisms makes her want it to be. To recruit Cass, first go talk to her at the Mojave Outpost bar and ask about her caravan business. She will direct you to Alice McLafferty at the Crimson Caravan. Go to her and complete the first and second task of the You Can Depend On Me quest, which are detailed in the Crimson Caravan video. Then you will be able to recruit Cass by proposing to her to come with you. You will benefit from her proficiency with guns and her whiskey rose perk which will prevent of having negative effects from alcohol. Whiskey and Wasteland Tequila will now also raise your damage threshold. Note that Cass will leave you if your karma is too low. She will give you two warnings, and if your karma is still lowered, she will depart. Mm -hmm. 
This is Cassie's personal quest, which deals with the unfortunate events her caravans went through. Right after you've recruited her, talk to her. She will ask to go to the site where her last caravan was destroyed to pay her respects. Go there. Look at the wreckage. Cass will notice something suspicious and ask to go to another caravan wreckage here. On this site you will find different ash piles. Cass's suspicion will grow and ask to go to another site here. There you will find, apart from the caravan wreckage, the bodies of a Crimson Caravan Company guard and a Silver Rush guard. Cass now knows that these two companies colluded with each other to wipe out the competition. You will now have the choice to help Cass by either agreeing with her to go get revenge on both of them, or you can propose to look for evidence and deliver them to the NCR authorities. If you go with a vengeance pass, simply kill Alice McLafferty. And both of the Vangraft's leader by any means available, including during the Bird of Feather quest given by Gloria Vangraft, in which by letting pass through the false customer will make the store being blown up. After the deed is done, Cass will talk to you and complete the quest. She will receive the Hand of Vengeance perk, which gives her an additional 15% damage with guns, as well as 500 experience points. If you go with a peaceful solution, you will have to gather two pieces of evidence. One can be found inside the vault inside Alice McLafferty's office. To open it, you can lockpick it or pickpocket the key on her. It's easier to do these tasks at night. The second evidence is also in a vault behind this closed door inside the silver rush. To open the door, lockpick it or steal a key from one of the vengraphs. Be aware that you must remain hidden while lockpicking, otherwise the guards will become hostile. Once gathered, show the evidences to Cass who will tell you to go deliver them to Ranger Jackson at the Mojave outpost. After having done so, Cass will talk to you and complete the quest. She will receive the Calm Heart perk, which increases her health by 50 points, as well as 650 experience points. Cassie's endings will vary upon if she died, if you completed her quest and if you chose the Vengeful or Peaceful Pass, and who won the second battle of Hooverdam. If she died, Cass was, like so many, another victim of the Mojave. If you didn't complete her quest and told her to go back west, she lived 30 more years and passed away in a shack outside of Vault City, her rose pendant still around her neck. If you completed her quest by being vengeful, the massacre of the two companies' branches spurred trouble with the NCR. The Crimson Caravan and the Vengrass refused to provide the support as long as these murders were not resolved. If you completed her quest by being peaceful, the NCR used the evidences against the two companies to blackmail them into strengthening their support. If you also have delivered the gunrunner schematic to the Crimson Caravan during the You Can Depend On Me quest, the Van Graaffs and Alice and McLafferty were fired of their position. On their journey back west, they were attacked by a group too well armed to be just raiders, but the gunrunners denied any involvement. No cargo was stolen during the attack. If the NCR won, she felt like a hero for having helped. If you also completed her quest and played as a male courier, Cass came to your room but instead of finding you, she found a regular NCR soldier to whom you had left your bunk since you already departed. After having her way with him, she went out under the stars feeling content of the journey she had with the courier. If the NCR won but you didn't complete her quest, or if you played as a female courier, she was surprised of the victory at the dam, given the odds, but considering the courier capabilities, she wasn't so dazzled by it. If Mr. Haas won, painfully perceiving this victory as going back to the old greedy ways, Cass had a heart attack while at the dam. Her last words were, we were going full speed ahead, but facing backwards the whole time. If you chose an independent New Vegas, she is surprised that you were able to beat down three armies, which is three more than she thought you could. She kept that thought to herself. If the Legion won, she saw the Legion victory as troublesome, looking at Hoover Dam like a gravestone for the Mojave and everyone in it. On the next video, we will talk about the last companion available, Rex.
Thank you for watching and see you later.